Welcome to our tutorials about fluid mechanics. So we are just mechanical students in HKUST like you guys. We would like to help you out of these tough courses so that we are putting videos up here. Down below in the comments it is a document about the contents of this video series. The primary goal of our video series is to show you how to solve fluid mechanics problems. So if you have some problems about the lecture or if you don't know how to solve some problem from your textbook. Just speak aloud in the comments. We would like to help you. Or even make extra videos to talk about that. Also, your feedback matters. So tell us what you think about our videos in the comments. In this video, I will finish this long list of boring introductory matters. But you shall continue watching this video in order not to get lost in this difficult course. What is fluid mechanics? So what is fluid? Fluid is anything that continually deforms and under an applied shear stress. We will take care about this definition in our first video about viscosity and Newtonian fluid. So in this course, we are just taking care about gases and liquids. I think all of you know about mechanics already since all of you have taken statics and dynamics. Mechanics is a study of forces. We also note that fluid flows under shear stress. So fluid mechanics is the study of momentum transfer and the flows within fluids. In fact, this course has deep relations with some other mechanical courses. In thermodynamics, we have learned about the direction and amount of energy transferred. In chapter 5, you will learn about energy equation and that is derived from thermodynamics. From energy conservation, it is possible to deduce flow direction too. In heat transfer, a course that I have just taken, you are going to learn about convection. That is, the heat transfer involving fluid flows. Then you have to know about laminar flow and turbulent flow in different flow geometries. Like many mechanical courses, this course involves much math. To scare you off, this is the big boss called Navier-Stokes equation. You are going to learn that in chapter 6. So, this course indeed requires some multivariable calculus. However, since you are not going to do derivations in this course, you are good enough if you know how to solve these multivariable calculus problems. These problems are extracted from the examples from later videos, so I will compute this in later videos. But if you will have problems with this, do review relevant topics from your calculus textbook or other online resources. I think some of you haven't taken any course about the ordinary differential equations. In this course, you may have to solve the simplest kind of ODE called a separable differential equation. I will show you how to solve such an ODE in a later video. But if you don't have the basic knowledge about differential equation, you are going to suffer in later courses. In fact, differential equations arise in every continuous dynamical system and our Navier-Stokes equation is one of them. So, I urge you to study about ODE on your own if you have time. You can go to Paul's online math note and go to the section differential equations. After going through the example inside the subsections shown here, you'll feel very comfortable with differential equations. Or if you prefer watching videos, you may watch Professor Chesnoff's videos about differential equations. You may find their links in the comments. Although math is important, you have to understand the physics for each concept that you have learned. Solving fluid mechanics problem is not just about plugging values into formulas. It is just the final part of the problem solving procedure. Why do you think the formula applies to the public particular problem? It requires understanding for you to write down such a formula. Professor can even put questions that involve no calculations in the exam. In last year's final, there was one problem that required us to qualitatively explain the physics behind flow across a sphere. I think we cannot help 
you too much with this online videos. Reading a textbook certainly can help you with this, but I think attending the lectures is certainly the best way to understand the physics. Professor Lee explained the physics very clearly with a lot of lively examples for us to understand the physics. Sometimes he shared his own experience and played simulations in class so that you just don't fall asleep in class. In class, Professor Lee always emphasized that if you do the homework independently, then you will do well in the exam. I certainly agree with him. In the midterm, there was one problem that identical to one of the homework problems. Apart from the homework, you can also try other problems from the textbook. This is your textbook, and I know that you can find it and its solution somehow on the web. Even if you don't care about your grades, doing problems from the textbook certainly enhance your understanding. Attached in the back of the textbook is the appendix that might be useful for you to solve your homework problems. So in this video, we talk about some introductory matter, such as what is fluid mechanics, inspiration with other courses, what math skill do you need in this course, and two tips to do well in this course. So that is all about this video, and thanks for watching. Feel free to ask us any question and give us any feedback in the comments below the video.